<sighs> so today it's gonna be a little bit different on the channel. If you're not into porn, if you don't like sex, if you're you really sex negative, what are you doing here? It's only 6 a.m. I need I need coffee. I just want to go back to sleep. Now normally I have a Monday through Friday 9 to 5 job. It's pretty straightforward. Mine is the fact that I work in a sex shop and answer lots of questions that normal people probably don't have to deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> and that's all before I even have coffee. But today's gonna be a little bit different. Today I have the day off. I've got some things planned. Um, cue the get ready montage. <laughs> My room. <laughs> So here we go, we're off. I'm looking for my Uber. I'm not seeing it. It's so hard to find your Ubers in this city. <sighs> okay. Ooh. So I'm uh, off to the airport. Um, <coughs> these Uber drivers aren't very responsive. <laughs> I better leave a good chip. <laughs> Oh, you can leave me a tip. How are you doing this morning, Daddy? I'm good. Are you awake? Mm-hmm. What is food? I know, I should. Welcome to the Armory. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what the Armory is, uh, it can look like a gigantic castle from the outside, but there aren't many princesses inside. In fact, uh, I don't know that a princess has ever been here. The Armory, though, is actually, or was actually, the home of Kink.com. And the Armory was built back in 1913, where it was used as an armory. It was used until about the 80s, and then it kind of just went unused until the early 2000s when Kink.com bought the space and lots of sexes happened in this building. I've worked with Kink.com plenty of times in the past and it's really sad to see them go but I wanted to get a quick shot because it is important to this video and spoiler alert, teaser, we're heading to Vegas to shoot some porn. It's sad to see companies like this go because we see things like Sesta and Fosta, all these things that suppress and minimize sex on the internet and it forces buildings like this and, and companies like Kink.com to be pushed to places like Las Vegas where it's cheaper and easier to shoot porn. And it's just sad. Lots of gay stuff is happening, lots of gay stuff I was involved in. Porn, circuit parties, uh, even a Betty Who concert, I don't know how you can get any gayer than that. Also, did you know that parts of the Empire Strikes Back was actually shot here? Like, interior shots of spaceships were actually shot in this building for the Empire Strikes Back. How crazy is that? We should get going now, Christopher's about to yell at me, let's go. history lesson. I had a quick question for you, Daddy. Yes. I mean, you're taking me to the airport so I can go and shoot a porn. Yeah. What is your opinion on all of it? Because that's not normal to take their partner off to a porn set. 
they don't have a problem with it, probably because we have a long history. I've directed porn for so long. Uh, I know it's also work. You're not going to sleep with any of those people. Or maybe you are. Totally. <laughs> well, I'm of the philosophy that sex is really enjoyable between two people. Um, and doesn't always have to have an emotional connection and still be enjoyable and I want my partners to be happy and explore and do fun things and I know that's not always going to be with me. Oh, okay, we're at the airport. Continue travel montage day in the life. Try not, try not to look so tired. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ubers are the worst. Okay, bye bye. Love you. Have Love fun. you too. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So, it's important, especially, especially when doing porn. I don't want to say it out loud, don't want to scare people, because this country currently has a crisis around porn, if you didn't know. So when doing porn, it's especially important to have a good diet. Minus maybe these barbecue chips. But, it's important that you not only have a good diet, but you also eat that morning. So, while I am going to clean out very thoroughly later, if I don't have this food in my system, I'm not going to be able to perform, have a hard on, get off, even, People who are in really good shape and do porn need to eat food too. Also, I've decided that today's video is not only going to be a travel vlog, day in the life, how I get ready in the morning, Q&A, but also mukbang. So, you see the food, mmm, chicken Caesar wrap. Tastes like sadness, travel, and uh, last minute decisions that are way too expensive. What, what is this? What is that? Where is that coming from? <laughs> Where is that coming from? Okay, I'm just gonna... Physically, I am flying out of here at 11.30 in the morning, and I'm flying back at 11 p.m. So it's a quick day turnaround. I have work tomorrow. It's... What is my life sometimes? <laughs> if you're gonna do it, the one piece of advice I'm always gonna say and give to someone is that make sure the last person on earth, the last person on earth that you would want to not see this, if they did find out, make sure that you're still okay with that. Because if you're not okay with someone seeing that, your grandma, your parents, and being able to talk about that, might not be for you. Anyway, I gotta get to my flight. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. If I had a dollar. <laughs> yeah. I made it. Oh, it's so hot. I'm glad I'm wearing shorts. I think we're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, numbers. Two, 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 two. Oh wait, I think I might have found it. Hello.
So this is our green room, just signing paperwork, getting ready for the shoot for the day. I'm just gonna relax. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Hello, there's dogs. Oh, hi friend. We have dogs on set. <laughs> but they'll be, you'll be locked away whenever we start shooting, won't you? Hi, what's your name? Can we kiss? <laughs> Uh, but the boys are setting up in there while we just get relaxed, uh, get prepped, get cleaned out, and then uh, we'll get briefed on what we're doing for the day. What are you looking at? <laughs> but first, look at the studio. This studio space is actually really, really cool. your name, sir? Max Farrow. Yes. And this is your first time on Kink? Yes. Looking How kinky are you? Pretty kinky. So let's address real quick the fact that there's like a band next door that's just playing <laughs> ma music yeah. at the... Oh, you are my co-star today. How are you yeah. feeling? I'm excited. Yeah? Ooh, too bad we need to play with that. <laughs> oh, we'll get to play with that eventually. That's huge. Heavy. How it's heavy is that? Be. Wow. That's... Yeah. Maybe we won't play with that. We'll just put that one back. <laughs> but this is your first kink scene. Yeah. Sebastian, why do I always get the new doms? Yeah, I've never swung a flogger in my life. Never in my ne life. Wait, are you being serious? I yeah. can't tell. <laughs> Set up and like have you crawl back to them and be just like grab you by your shirt, and toss you around. Make you just put your face in the corner so he doesn't even have to look at you and bring it back up. Just have you like right here, cover your mouth, ease your cock, wishing that you were out of the chest. Tra After we do some edging, slap him around a little bit more, make him suck your dick one last time, you know, back him back over here and you tell him to pick up the lawn. But you have leather restraints for that. Okay. Yeah, so that'd be cool. And Sounds then the fun. final scene where we do the fucking, that's when I'll finally actually tie you up and rope it. Yeah, it's suspended from here. Awesome. Okay. First and foremost, who are you? I am Sebastian Keyes, director of Kink Man. And how long have you been working with Kink? Total? Uh huh. Almost 10 years now. So Lucas asked uh, when making porn, how much material is used versus what's made? Maximum, like half of the footage that we use is actually usable on set. Um, a typical, we do about 50 minute to an hour shoot uh, is what it gets edited down to. That can take anywhere from four to six hours, sometimes more. Jesse asks, do you ever feel like you're getting feelings for the people you're pounding? Not really. Um, I, I mean, there's always, there's kind of a camaraderie and I've, I've developed a lot of really close relationships and friendships. Um, but there's never much of like, oh, I want to I wanna take you home and tear you up some more. That's it, all very like professional. We're all here to do a job and uh, have fun and get things done. Kia asks, specific to BDSM, uh, aftercare is important. In normal play, is there aftercare for porn shoots? And if so, what does that look like? Um, yes, absolutely there is aftercare in porn, especially BDSM porn. Um, we facilitate uh, in between scenes, we'll give the, the guy who's being tied up and beaten and everything, we have robes and slippers ready for them. We always finish with a nice closing interview where the models are out of character, they're buddy-buddy, and bring them back down to a, a, a natural level after being so roller coaster and chaotic throughout the day, no matter what weird stuff we're doing. What do you have to say to people that just don't understand porn or, or kind of think that it's a bad thing? I think porn is great because you can um, educate yourself a little bit and try something new. And, um, and, and it's fun sharing that with your partner too. You can find out if you have similar interests and it's okay if you don't. 
you can totally be into one thing and you love watching that type of porn, but your partner doesn't care for it. Um, and then last, and probably most importantly, uh, Jakey asks, if you could be any Spice Girl, who would you be? Oh, great question. I always liked Mel B, so I'd have to say Scary Spice. She's pretty awesome. <laughs> Awesome. That does it for an impromptu uh, Q&A. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. Uh, where can people find you? Contact me on Twitter. I am triple X, Mr. Keys, triple X. Uh, and I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs>